A lot of people are also um, quite nervous and anxious about going back. More demands for mask mandates and other health measures on campuses. Student groups and unions sign on to a letter to the province penned by the SFU Teacher Support Staff Union. It says the return to post-secondary plan released early July is outdated and universities could be super spreaders if the BC government doesn't introduce new rules now. <laughs> The Simon Fraser Student Society, University of Victoria Faculty Association Executive Committee, along with unions representing UBC, are among the groups backing the letter. They also want caps on classrooms, routine testing and better ventilation. So we've actually been in a lot of meetings with senior administrators at Simon Fraser University and the response that we've been getting for months now is that they are not going to um, implement any measures beyond what the province has implemented in the COVID-19 guidance that was released on July 5th. This is, could become and very likely could become super spreading um, sites of super spreading because of these conditions. Um, and we know that with the Delta variant, it is so easy for that to become the case. Ventilation is especially concerning here at Simon Fraser University. Staff say some of them will be working in old buildings and cramped rooms. There is a lot of classrooms that are in basements without windows with poor ventilation. And so we're really worried. UBC's student union has been pushing for masks in life lectures and mandatory vaccines on residences. Its president posted this video on Twitter saying it's ready for mask rules if they're needed. This has already occurred in the Okanagan region, which includes UBC Okanagan, because of a renewed COVID outbreak there. There needs to be provisions for people who cannot be immunized even though they may be a small number of people, and provisions for what we're going to do in those settings when we have uh, increased uh, community transmission, which is going to happen in certain communities over this next fall. So all of those things are factors that are being taken into place so that we have adequate plans. A lot of time has been wasted uh, when we could have been seeing those improvements. So it's really getting close now to make sure that we can implement these measures. Well, SFU tells City News it's reviewing the letter and will respond in the coming days. In Burnaby, Crystal Adaris, City News.